Hi folks, this is Vince with Ads Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to quickly review Creeper World 4. This is a game that's going to be releasing on Steam and GOG on December 3rd, 2020. I wasn't given a price, but I'll get to that a little bit later. So, what is Creeper World 4? Well, if you've never played the previous versions of Creeper World, it is a tower defense game, well, more like a base defense game, in that you are trying to protect your main base, and you've got this blue creep thing, it's like slimy ooze stuff, and it will try and consume your base and everything around it. And you're going to be fending it off by constructing various turrets. There's like regular turrets, there's mortar turrets, there's all sorts of cool stuff that you can build in the Creeper World universe. Well, Creeper World 4 is definitely a breath of fresh air in the sense that uh, Creeper World 1 and 3, which I've played, were top-down. This is a 3D look at it, so it you've got a different perspective as you're playing. Um, I have, by the way, several, several, well, I don't want to say 100, but I've got at least 100 hours in Creeper World 3, and I've played the demo of Creeper World 1 countless times when I was younger. In fact, Creeper World 1 is one of the games I first started playing on the PC when internet was introduced, and that's when Creeper World 1 became a thing. Um, I just became hooked on that, and that's what actually got me into the tower defense genre in the first place, but I kind of digress. So Creeper World 4, again, is this three-dimensional look of this base defense game that's been created before, pre prior to the series. And again, you're going to be building these turrets to try and fend off this blue creep. Now, a lot of the game, just like in the previous versions, is all about trying to gain resources and control land because the way you gain income in this game is by building these towers around the map and if the creep is there you can't do it so just imagine your base sort of surrounded by this creep and you're pushing outward ever so slowly getting your turrets shooting 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 just making way, trying to clear this land, and then you pop a couple of towers down, they start generating income, and then you rinse and repeat that process until you sort of pushed out far enough to where you can start forming some lines, and then pushing even further and taking out the enemy creep generators. Now, there's more than just one type of enemy in this game. Yes, you've got your standard creep generator where um, it'll just continuously produce creep, and um, there are layers in this game, so even though um, it'll be producing creep and it looks like, you know, oh, it's, it's just hitting this hill, nothing bad will happen. No, no, um, this creep will rise um, to the level that you're at and consume that, then move on to the next level, consume that. So um, the creep will just keep on coming if you don't do something about it. So there's the, gen the regular creep generators, there's these mortar... Units, I don't know what they're called, but they shoot these these blue things up in the air and then back down. And if they land in your territory, it will spread creep everywhere. So it's sort of like a mortar turret, but you've got a special turret called a missile turret that can shoot those down. They're like anti-air. You've also got these other things that will make a beeline for your base, but you've got these sniper turrets that can take them out. So you're going to be creating all sorts of different turrets, creating defensive lines, trying to hold back the creep, all the while putting these towers down, generating resources. Now, there are more structures in the game than what I can cover here. My primary goal today is just to tell you how awesome this game is. Okay, now I, I got to admit, I'm a little biased. Again, Creeper World 1 was one of the first base defense games that I ever played, at least the demo version. And then I bought Creeper World 3 Arc Eternal and hundreds of hours in that. There's so much replayability, so many maps. I've covered it before and I, I'm not going to keep rehashing what I'm saying, but yeah, it's great. So when Creeper World 4 came along, or at least I heard of it, I emailed the developer instantly. I'm like, I got to play this. <laughs> He's like, I'm working on it. It'll be done when it's done. So when the uh, Autumn Festival and the other Steam festivals came out, and we, there was a playable demo. I was all over it. And the developer just gave me a press key for it. And I've been playing a couple of levels off camera, getting my feet wet again. 
um, and now I'm ready to actually review it. Um, I gotta say, it's fantastic. There is a standard campaign. It's called the Farsight Expedition. Um, it's it's a story based thing. Uh, the maps are static, but you've also got this Chronom mode uh, on the main menu. It's sort of like a daily challenge. You've got these span experiments, which are like special maps. Uh, you've got this Mark V computer, which you can actually generate your own maps. You can choose the map size, how good the AI is, and so on, and then generate seeds and then play on your own maps, which I think is awesome. Uh, there's this Colonies, which is a section for user-based maps. Yes, there is a mission editor where you can make your own maps, upload them, and then uh, other people can play them. Likewise, other people make their own maps, you can play theirs. So, like I said, there's a ton of replayability, not only with Creeper World 3, but by extension Creeper World 4. What with the random C generator, with the uh, colony section where you can, you know, there's that workshop where you can create your own maps and play others' maps. So, yes, there's a ton of replayability here, which gets me back to what I was saying earlier about the price. I don't know what it's going to be, but I can tell you right now it's going to be worth it. Just because the amount of playtime that you can get out of this um, is going to be huge. Again, because of the reasons I stated earlier. And I will admit, again, I am biased. So just take that with a grain of salt. Um, I'm, I'm clearly a fan of this developer and this series, but with good reason. I love a base defense game. I love, I love the fact that, you know, you can take this quickly. Like, you can try and do maps very quickly by rushing. Meaning, if you're good enough, you can pause, plan everything out, um, and get towers into strategic positions even before the creep gets there. And then you would have saved yourself an hour of trying to push forward to that point. Other people like me like a more defensive role where I'm going to hole up in this corner. I'm going to push forward nice defensively, slowly, carefully keep pushing, push and push. It might take me three hours, but I'm going to get it done because I'm slow and methodical about it. Um, so yeah, and there's other mechanics that this game introduces that wasn't in Creeper World 3. Like there's this, there's a couple of maps where, that featured this shield um, and it would hold back the creeper. Like it's, it was sort of like a wall, a wall shield. It was one, it was one on, on one of the maps that I played and, um, it would slowly dissipate as the creeper rubbed against it. But if you fought back the creeper, the shield, the shield wall would regenerate. Now that's outside of the shield buildings that you can build. You can build your own shield buildings. They require ammo and not energy, which is interesting. In Creeper World 3, you had to power them with energy. Creeper World 4, you've got uh, three special resources that you'll be mining on the map. There's like a red uh, resource, there's a green resource, and a blue resource. Um, their names escape me. I, like blue is blue white. Uh, and so on. And the green will allow you to um, get the... The relays that are sticking up really tall out of the ground, you can power those. Um, the red ones will help you power other things. So you're going to be using these uh, refineries that you're building to, 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 to capture these resources and use them in conjunction with your energy to stop the creep. And it's really cool. Now, there is not a lab in this game like there is in the third one. The lab allowing you to just constantly buy upgrades. There is an upgrade building, though, in this game. Um, again, the name escapes me, but uh, you're going to be gathering these little cubes on the map, and then you're going to be picking what upgrade category you want to put them into, and that will just improve that, that particular category, like fire rates or energy generation and so on. Um, there's an airfield, so you can create these bombers that will drop anti-creep, which uh, prevents them prevents the creep from consuming the land once you've bombed an area. Uh, there's anti-creep turrets, but again, you need that blue white resource to keep that keep keep those turrets and to keep your bombers stocked with that ammo. So yeah, um, Creeper World Four, excellent game. Again, I don't know what the price is going to be, but because I've played Creeper World Three so much and enjoyed it, I can hands down recommend Creeper World Four. I trust the developer that much, and I hope that you give this game a whirl because it is a lot of fun. If you guys haven't already subscribed to me on Twitch and YouTube, that way you can stay up to date with any new content I happen to publish. This is Vince, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.